This is the video lesson for Unit 6, Homework 2, Probability Vocabulary. Our learning target for this homework assignment is, I can categorize events as impossible, equally likely, or certain. As we work on this activity, please watch the video and follow along and complete the worksheet. Anything that you see written on your screen should also get written on your paper. We'll start by defining the words in this table. The first word you see is likelihood. If I'm talking about the likelihood of something occurring, I'm describing the chance that an event occurs. This is the same thing as probability, which is our keyword for this unit. Uh, so let's think of an example for likelihood. We could say that it is likely that there will be rain tomorrow. When we take likelihood and turn it into a probability, we just put a number with it. If you're asked to give the likelihood, you can also give a number. So let's look at this word probability. Probability is the chance that an event occurs. We represent probability with a number between zero and one. So let's use an example of drawing a marble out of a bag. So if I imagine this is my bag and I'm gonna use this example for likelihood and probability. And let's imagine our bag has one, two, three red marbles and one, two, three, four blue marbles. If I wanted to describe the probability of drawing a red marble from this bag, I could say that the probability of drawing a red marble was three out of seven because there are seven marbles total and three of them are red. If I wanted to describe the probability of drawing a blue marble, I could describe it as four out of seven because four of the marbles are blue and there are seven marbles altogether. So I said the probability was a number between zero and one these fractions are all between 0 and 1, but I could also use percentages or decimals to represent these numbers. As a decimal, 3 sevenths is about 0 0.43. It's the same as 43%. As a decimal, 4 sevenths is about 0 0.57, or about 57%. So all of these ways would be how I could represent the probability. 3 sevenths, 43% or 0.43 for the red marbles, and 4 sevenths, 0.57 or 57% for the blue marbles. Theoretical probability is the probability that something occurs based on just looking at the likelihood of something happening. So that's kind of a vague definition. Um, more specifically, the theoretical probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes. So let's take a look at this and figure out how this applies to our example with marbles up here. So we have our number of favorable outcomes divided by our total number of possible outcomes. When I say favorable outcome, it doesn't necessarily mean the outcome that I want, it means, or the outcome that I prefer, it's the outcome that I'm talking about in the situation. So if I wanna calculate the probability of getting a red marble, the favorable outcomes, there are three possibilities. I could get this red marble, this red marble, or this third one. So that would be my number of favorable outcomes. The total number of possible outcomes, that would be seven because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what we've already calculated up here, this is our theoretical probability. So in other words, we're using reasoning, use reasoning to calculate probabilities. 
That's a little different from experimental probability. So for experimental probability, you conduct an experiment or a simulation. And once again, you're going to take the number of favorable outcomes, except this time it's really the number of favorable trials. And divide that by the total number of trials. So here's how that would look. If I were to find the experimental probability of drawing a red marble out of this bag, I couldn't just do it by looking at the bag. I would have to perform a number of trials and determine whether or not I pulled a red marble out of the bag. So maybe I did this 10 times and maybe the first time I drew red and then the second time I drew red again and then the third time I drew blue and then I drew another red one and then another blue one and then maybe two more blue ones in a row and then another red one and another red one and finally a blue one and then one more red. Okay, so let's look at this distribution. I have one, two, three, four, five, six reds and one, two, three, four, five blues. Interesting. So for my red theoretical probability, there were six reds out of a total of 11 trials, which is about 0 0.55 or 55%. That does not match my theoretical probability of 43%. And that's because this was based on an experiment. And experiments are often very close to our theoretical probability, but our experimental probability won't necessarily always match the theoretical probability perfectly. The last three words we need to define are outcome, favorable outcome, and event. So we've looked, we've used some of these words already. So an outcome is any possible occurrence in any probability event. So um, with our example with the bag, the possible outcomes were drawing a red marble or drawing a blue marble. Favorable outcomes are the occurrences that you're talking about. So it's not what you prefer even though it has that word favorable. It's the occurrences that we're talking about. So for example, when we were looking at our experimental probability, we were looking at the probability of drawing a red marble. So that's the one we care about, all right? So I'm just going to draw an arrow and say that here, the favorable outcome was drawing a red marble. An event describes any outcome. But sometimes an event describes more than one outcome at the same time. So the event might be drawing a red marble first and then a blue marble right afterwards. So an outcome is any possible occurrence in the situation, but when I talk about an event, I might be talking about more than one outcome followed by other subsequent outcomes, all right? So I guess technically this would be our example, drawing a red marble first and then a blue marble right afterwards. And I'll add in that it's any outcome, but it can be more complicated. If you haven't already written down all of the definitions on the sheet, please write them down now. When you're done, please flip over to the back and color in the cubes according to the instructions.